Psychonauts, originally released in April of 2005 and is still available on PlayStation, Xbox platforms, and Steam for $9.99. This game has become something of a cult hit, as when it was first released, nobody cared. Despite critics loving it, nobody bought a copy. But that's about par for the course for Tim Schafer and Double Fine Productions. In this game, you play as a runaway carny, Rasputin. And you go to a camp for psychics, populated by colorful characters, voiced by basically anyone that worked for Nickelodeon in the early 2000s. But the camp isn't quite what it seems, as you find out that one of the adults at the camp wants to do inappropriate things with the children. So it's just like a real summer camp. The gameplay is much in the vein of Mario 64, as you go into different worlds, in this case being the minds of various characters, and complete goals. The goals usually related to some deep-seated psychological problem, with abuse being a common theme running throughout the game. In the minds of these characters, you can collect figments to level up, collect their emotional baggage, and unlock memories that they've repressed. Some of these worlds are simple and straightforward, and others get bizarrely surreal. As the game goes on, you'll unlock psychic abilities, both from acquiring badges at the camp and just from leveling up. The game is also kind of punny with what it's doing. Inside everyone's brains you can find cobwebs and the aforementioned emotional baggage. The world of the game seems to take place in a cartoony version of the 1960s, with everyone fitting into convenient archetypes of that time. We have the cliché secret agent man, post-traumatic stress suffering soldier, and even a pseudo-hippie, with the children also falling into the standard archetypes. There's a bully kid, there's a weak kid. There's the girl that's too good for this. There's the foreign kid. There's the weird kid. Pretty much the same things you find in anything that's about children. The gameplay is generally both fun and polished. However, some of the levels do become frustrating as they stop relying on you using platforming and start relying on you just stumbling across the right thing to do. Looking at you, Milkman Conspiracy. The overall message of the game seems to be you need to just let things go. Stop dwelling on the past. Because every level you go to, it's all about someone coping with their past. And you helping them get over that. Which would have been fine for one level, but the repetition gets a little old. But the gameplay is generally fun, the cutscenes are all well acted, and it's certainly worth the $10 that it costs these days. And it's not too hard to find cheaper than that. When I first got this game, uh, Steam seemed to put this on sale for $2.50 like every other week, and it still goes on sale pretty frequently on Steam. So. I'd absolutely recommend this game. The $10 isn't too much to pay, but if you're willing to wait and get it cheaper, I mean, I personally would be. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends.